Hi everybody, Captain Bill Safe the Third. I am here on the main street in Shamo at my buddy Richie Moore's. Richie's tackling more here. He is working diligently <laughs> at the cash register. And the reason I'm here right now, guys, take a look. Here they are, all the bombers and the thunder sticks that are so hot on the walleyes right now. Let me show you a couple things. People are wondering exactly what we're hitting these walleyes on on Lake Ontario right now. Now this is a jointed version right here. We're using the straight version, but this particular bomber with the black back, gold side, orange belly is called the Tiger Lily. In my opinion and dad's opinion, probably the number one shallow floating walleye bait in the history of Lake Ontario. Now, the two hot colors have been so good all this week. Here's the thunder stick and the floater. You can see the black back, silver side, orange belly, metallic painted bait. That thing's unbelievable. Now, we don't have a shallow version. As you all know, I don't run deep divers during the spring of the year. I add weight to the floaters. But here's the same bait with a blue back, silver side, and orange belly. In a, in a deep build junior thunder stick, same color pattern. You want this bait, but in this minnow. Now Richie's got these orders coming in every two, three days. So you gotta stop in here in Shamo and make sure that he's got what you're looking for. Now in the bomber line, here's the same black back. We've got the prism insert orange belly. Here's a suspender version of the same plug. All are gonna be hot at different times. Here's one that doesn't work as hot on a daily basis as the straight metallics, but this particular bait is translucent. It's perch, it's got uh, the iridescent flakes here in the center of it. It's got the black to brown back. It's got more of a perch or a pike look inside and a chartreuse belly. Now, why do you want to run these baits that are high metallic but with orange bellies on them? Here's the thing. Most people don't realize, but it's a page out of the great old time musky fisherman's books. And what you want is that high metallic when you've got bright sun, you've got little to no chop on the surface of the water, that metallic's gonna refract a lot of light, it's gonna be very attractive. Remember, walleyes are a big fish whose eyes are located high and on the sides of their head. So generally those fish are feeding up, they're coming up for the strike. But as we all know, chop on the surface of the water, muddy water conditions, turbid water conditions, low light, those walleyes are gonna feed and hit more effectively under those conditions. So what the orange belly on a bait like this does is it gives you a silhouette. You've got all the refractive qualities of the high metallic and high sun, but should the clouds go uh, start to cover up the sun, it should get a little bit darker out there. Now as those fish feed up, they're looking at a silhouette. Imagine low in the water column, everything being dark and everything above that fish in the water column being light. That's why in the old days, the big musky fishermen would run dead black buzz baits on the surface on moonlit nights. Why? Because they silhouette. And that's what that orange belly is gonna do for you under low light conditions. So having the high vis, black, silver, reflecting in high light conditions, but the orange belly on that bait for when the sun goes behind the clouds is exactly what it's gonna take to make that a dual purpose bait and work for you under both conditions. Those bombers and those thunder sticks are all right here at Richie's. Stop by and see him here in Shamo and he'll get you hooked up on just exactly what the Safe Charter Fleet's using for eyes on Lake Ontario right now.